Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another sim drifting video. Uh, did not intend on posting any more um, gaming content on the channel after that last video, which was basically a test of the VR drift sim that we set up. But the thing about it is, I guess it kind of fits in with everything since we're learning to drift on the VR sim and we are building drift cars in real life. Since it is winter here in West Virginia, this is going to be pretty much the closest I can get to getting some seat time, uh, especially with it snowing the way it is outside right now. But hopefully it all transitions. Uh, if you've seen the last video, we was driving a white 350Z, which is set up very similar to the 350Z that I posted in the video before that, that we're going to build into our seat time drift car. But what I haven't announced is we're going to build another seat time drift car, which is a E36 325i sedan. Uh, M50 B25 five-speed car. Uh, so I've been kind of messing around with the E36 on a set of Corsa, and hopefully it translates um, over to that as well. So I've got maybe 10 hours of sim drifting uh, under my belt so far, and everybody said I need you know hundreds, if not thousands, of hours of sim drifting under my belt to really get it down. Um, so hopefully this helps us. So we're going to be, like I said, driving the E36 uh, Drift Playground today. And um, I've driven this track maybe two laps. Um, it does have a lot of zones in it. So I've been trying to learn those. And because I've just kind of been freestyle drifting um, on the other tracks. So setup again is Logitech G920 for the wheel shifter and pedals. Do have an aftermarket wheel on the 920 aftermarket shift knob and some pedals are stock. Also have an eBay handbrake that I try not to rely too much on. Um, yeah, this setup is way too loose, but it's it's way looser than the 350 is. Used to, so just bear with me while we learn this. But I'm trying to learn to stay in these zones. Um, and this track has, I think, six of them. So I've been trying to learn it. And I've got maybe, you know, this will probably be the third lap on this track. But one of the first laps in the But that's my problem. I've been, I'm having trouble either carrying too much uh, momentum into the corner and smacking the wall or having horrible understeer and going into the wall. But then some corners we absolutely can uh, shred until I'm um, hooked up there for some reason. But that's all the zones in this is those, I think, four or five. And then you got <laughs> the walls that I'm very, very familiar with. If you're wondering about the computer setup, we're on a Quest 3 for VR goggles. Uh, the processor is an i9-139K. Um, the graphics card is a 4070. We do have everything maxed out and it will be rendered down to 1080 to upload to YouTube. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think we're at 1440p or 2.7K on the actual resolution. And, uh, we just downscale it to 1080. But hopefully, once I get some more hours under my belt, I can do some more entertaining content, some tandems and such. I've got some buddies that also uh, sim drift. They are very, very good. They have a whole team. I'm just not nearly as good enough to team them with anybody yet. But some people say that will actually help me when it's driving with other people to follow their lines and everything, but I, I, I just don't feel like I'm there yet. As you can see, like I've got a lot of work to do. But I really wish I would have been able to film when I first started. There's that understeer, um, just because of how bad I was. But we've made a ton of progress. I'm actually proud of that. And what little bit I have slid the 350 in real life, this has absolutely translated over to it. 
hopefully it does the same thing. 36, but I do have trouble uh, sliding the higher horsepower cars on this game just because I'm not there with my left foot braking and entries and exits and all of that. But we're getting, like I said, getting a little bit better. But I still have trouble with some of the tighter transitions of just spinning out. But then sometimes we'll get in the zones and just absolutely rip like we actually know what we're doing. But I'm trying to stay away from the handbrake as much as I can. I don't want to use the crutch, so I try to clutch kick these transitions. And sometimes I think they're just too tight of transitions to really clutch kick and be able to control it. But the massive amount of understeer on this car is something else. And I've, I feel like I've got the toe camber uh, pressure and all of that where it needs to be. But... Sometimes it just seems really gripped up, and then sometimes um, it seems really loose. So it's probably just a me issue, I have to guess. I couldn't really save much of that transition. But I have been trying to stay closer to the walls. Um, like I said in the last video, I've got a problem where I like taking everything way too narrow. So I'm trying to uh, run everything wide if I can, but then there's some corners like that I just couldn't transition out fast enough to do. And it's just a skill thing. Same thing with that, like I have a hard time with a couple of laps I threw up this track of staying out toward the wall, and I end up really going in and arrow from where I need to be. trying to get away from but it's just like I said it is a crutch and I can see how people say that because I do use it as a crutch. Right here instead of clutch kicking that transition, and break that transition. And we wall tapped quite hard. But I feel like this is a good track um, to learn on. Um, I'll stop up here and show you the actual name of it. it it's something Drift Playground, but it's, uh, let's see, Bosca P, I think that's what that says. Yeah, Bosca P Drift Playground is the track that we're on. Pretty sure this was on Race Department, and it was a free download. Same daggone corner we're spinning out in again. One thing I'm not doing is left foot braking at all. Mainly because I don't understand. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, that made me nauseous. That's the only bad thing about VR. I think the whole car is just disabled now. It is. We've completely disabled the car. I've never seen the Speedo do that. That is crazy. The mileage is just going up.
think we are done so all right then so i guess that's where this wants me to end it so guys hopefully you liked this short video uh, if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel uh, there'll probably be more vr gaming content coming even though i didn't plan for this um, it just feels like it's going to fit the channel um, and hopefully bring some new viewers in. So guys, I'll see you guys on either the next VR video or the next in real life video.